Okay, hi guys. So I thought I would have a little look at the gender neutral bathroom situation. And this is a story from the email online, as you guys can see. Girls are skipping school to avoid sharing gender neutral toilets with boys after being left to feel unsafe and ashamed. So menstruating girls are staying at home for fear of being made to feel period shame. Some girls are risking infection by refusing to urinate all day and not drinking. My my initial reaction after sort of reading some of this is this um seems just ridiculous to me. The number of transgender students, right, is less than one percent, a lot less than one percent. I think the statistic is around about ninety nine point seven percent of students are cisgender. Okay, and in a nutshell, that means that your sex and your gender are the same. We're only really talking about a very small number of students who might identify as transgender. You know, I think there's a really easy solution to this. Gender neutral toilets in schools have left girls feeling unsafe, even putting their health at risk. Parents and che teachers have warned. Girls who are menstruating are anxious about sharing facilities with boys. Some are staying home for fear of being made to feel period shame. Look. I can completely understand this. A lot of girls and boys feel, you know, incredibly embarrassed about, you know, toilet related stuff. You know, I completely understand this. And my solution, right, which a lot of people have already implemented, is really, really simple. Every school should have a unisex, gender neutral toilet, which has disabled facilities. So any student, right, boy or gal, can disabled or able-bodied could use this toilet and this would kind of solve the problem as far as I'm concerned. A growing number of both primary and secondary schools installing unisex toilets. Some girls are risking infection by refusing to urinate all day. So again, I bet a lot of boys are kind of being put off too. They probably won't say anything because they probably just feel anxious about the whole thing. But um, you know, boys and girls are cruel. They can play stupid tricks on each other, you know. Nevertheless, this kind of move for um inclusiveness, if it um hurts a lot of the students, then it's not working, clearly. So others are fearful they have stopped drinking liquids at school. If that's the effect that this legislation or these kind of ideas are having, you know, they seem to be causing more harm than good. Again, this is from the um website. Parents and teaching staff have told the Mail on Sunday that female pupils feel deeply uncomfortable or even unsafe sharing, sharing toilets with male students. I don't know, it's a difficult time of anyone's life and anything that makes it more difficult, I, I don't think is particularly good. So the trend for single sex toilets is driven by the wish to be more inclusive of children who identify as transgender and who wish to use the same facilities as the opposite sex. This is a difficult situation, right? But if you have a transgender student in a school, or even two or three, if they don't feel comfortable using the toilet of their assigned sex, then perhaps they could have their own special toilet. Or like I say, a disabled toilet is perfect, okay? Okay, they might feel slightly left out that they can't use the same toilet, but... Clearly, if um, girls are too scared or too nervous to actually go to the bathroom, then it's this whole thing's just having a really kind of detrimental effect. And the, the answer just seems so simple to me, you know. So GP Tessa Kaz said holding in urine for prolonged periods of time on a regular basis could increase the risk of, you know, girls suffering urinary and bladder infections. The psychological effect of girls not feeling safe to use the mixed self um, the mixed sex toilets is also concerning. Okay, um, if you even have one unisex toilet, that's fine. But there should still be um facilities for boys and girls which are sort of dedicated just to one gender, you know? I mean, it's a freaking school. Like I say, kids are very, very mean to each other sometimes, you know? They haven't really developed that sort of maturity. And, you know, toilet humour is, is a big thing at schools too. At the same time, the Verizon gender-neutral toilets has sparked backlash amongst parents, many of whom say they were not consulted before the change was made in their children's schools. The latest row involves Deansfield Primary School in South Ricelip, West London, where parents launched a petition last month against the introduction of unisex toilets. So again, this is a picture of the school. One angry mother, whose daughter, aged four and eight, at the school said, the cubicles were open at the bottom and the top so older pupils can easily climb up the toilets and peep over. 
Now, again, I, I should imagine this is causing a huge amount of worry and anxiety for the students. So, I mean, at least if you're going to have unisex toilets, kind of built them so that they're enclosed at the top and the bottom, you know. Stephanie Davies Ari from the parent campaign group Transgender Trend said schools were being misinformed by trans activist organisations that they were breaking equality laws if they did not make toilets unisex. She said there were clear exemptions under the current equality laws that means it was perfectly legal to have single-sex toilets. Well, it's kind of good that they're clarifying this, but honestly, I, I kind of wonder if this kind of le legislation is going too far. I mean, honestly, isn't it just better to leave this kind of thing up to the schools? I mean, why do we need all this top-down legislation coming from the government? I think it's kind of productive, and to be honest, I think it probably does a lot more harm than good. Not just in this case, but in other cases. For example, the politicisation of transgender people, I think is absolutely terrible because these are people, they just want to get on with their lives. You know, they don't want to be in a continuous revolution or something. This kind of thing reminds me of rebels without a cause. There's these people and they missed the civil rights movement and they kind of think, well, what can our great fight be, our great contribution be? Oh, look at all these poor, marginalised trans people. We have to fight on their behalf. Trans people themselves can speak for themselves. They don't really need trans activists to push this kind of stuff. Do you not accept, though, that you identify as a, as you are, you are a trans woman? A no, I, I no longer, you know what, I no longer identify as trans because okay. it's become so embarrassing because of people like you and what you champion. Oh, India. I'm ashamed of it. You it's must awful. Accept. There are people, there are bigoted people in I this country. I don't accept there are a hundred There genders. are bigoted people Absolutely in this country not. who don't recognise your identity. Why does it make, why is it okay when you recognise that that is unacceptable and bigoted for you to turn to non-binary people and say you don't recognise their identity. Isn't that a race no, to the bottom? How, listen, how can non-binary be transgender? What exactly are you transitioning? Well, it's under the umbrella You don't term. even believe in gender. So how can you I be did. transgender? It's made a mockery of the I whole... Totally the whole oh, okay. I totally agree. I totally agree. In a survey, I think it was in America, they actually found that fewer people were friendly towards LGBTQ, the LGBTQ agenda, I guess, although I don't think such a thing really exists. But I think a lot of this is down to powerful lobby groups overreaching, you know. Tory MP David Davies, who backed the feminist claims that transgender rights are overriding those of women, said, if girls are not comfortable sharing toilets with boys, then school should make provision for them, rather than saying girls have got a problem. Completely agree, to be honest. I think just, you know, having a special bathroom that boys and girls can use but also doubles as a sort of disabled toilet. Because quite frankly, every school should have, um, just, you know, good facilities for disabled students anyway. So just change that to a sort of, you know, uni gender bathroom and, you know, you're, you're basically sorted. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, a link to the stories in the description. Yeah, just leave a comment sort of saying what your view is on this. Has the school gone too far? Or perhaps you, you think schools haven't gone far enough. Perhaps all toilets should be uni unigender. What, what do you think? Is it going to alienate trans students if they are not allowed to use the bathroom that they feel most comfortable with?